Hello everyone, this is JD Calderon and this is Indie Comics Explained. Um, today we're going to be covering The Boys, written by Garth Ennis, illustrated by Derek Robinson, and published by Dynamite Entertainment. The Boys, which is currently on Amazon Prime, I just finished watching the final episode of the series. I enjoyed it very much. Quite a different take on the story, there are good many similarities, but there's definitely um, a different take on the stories. This is actually volume two uh, of the series. This is um, an omnibus. They're going to be printing six of them, and uh, that'll comprise the entire run. I don't know. I think it was uh, ran about 60 issues. It might have been 60. It might have been 75. I'm not really sure, but I think it's 60. Garth Ennis is a consummate professional, excellent, excellent creator. Um, I sometimes wonder how angry of a human being he is. It, it just uh, comes off that his, between this and Preacher, he just seems to be a very angry guy. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. I doubt it. He's probably just a really funny dude with a very weird and sardonic sense of humor. And he just, you know, the stuff probably just cracks him up when he writes it because the stuff is kind of like hilarious and funny and just, um, you know, it's it's just a parody on on superhero comics and what it is. You you see Homelander and the way he acts, he's just like some kind of weird, strange cipher of Superman. And in this particular volume, this is volume two. Uh, the boys are actually going after a group of individuals that are, are ciphers of the X-Men and the corruption they go through and just how insane they are. I mean, you know, they have them urinating on, you know, one of their own members and they send in Huey. He's the, uh, I guess, the most sympathetic character in the book to infiltrate this group and the big difference between what I saw in the um, the TV show and the this the the comic book is that the boys in this book actually have powers whereas in the TV show the only one that has powers is Kamiko and she is I believe Japanese but it's not really specified where she's from. It's this character. Um, she doesn't do much talking. It's even unknown if she can speak. But she is a bit of a killer. And she seems to get off on killing. And... When... You know, we have just a bunch of very strange occurrences in this book. It's, you know, they have zombie superheroes. They have uh, this group that are ciphers of the X-Men and how they uh, feed them up through the chain. Um, it's just overall just madness. But it is a lot of fun to see this very different take on superheroes and the mythology that goes along with them. And to see this group, you know, the boy is trying to take them down, you know, trying to reveal the corrupt nature of these people. And I think basically what it boils down to, I think the uh, the thing that Garth Ennis is really just trying to get to is that, which is similar to what I think we were being told in something like The Authority and Watchmen, is that when people have this much power, they tend to lose themselves a little bit. You know, we're all pretty much grounded by the simple facts of we have our limitations. We can't run through walls. We can't flip over cars. We just can't take what we want when we want it. We have to earn it. And when persons or normal people go beyond those measures, if you had these strange abilities that you could do, how far would you push them? How far would you go or how far, and not necessarily you, but there are going to be individuals who are going to lose themselves in it. 
And I just find it interesting what he's done looking at these characters and what they've done and how horrible they can be and how wonderful they can be at the same time. You know, these people can be lauded as gods, demons, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, the art by Derek Robinson is, you know, excellent. Derek Robinson, consummate professional, incredible artist, great illustrator. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's a great book. I definitely say check it out if you're into superheroes, if you like dark humor, and if you just want to see something really, really different done with superheroes. And that's it for today. And, you know, just remember, if you like the um, review, just smash that like button, hit the follow button, and just remember, I mean, if you want to read some of my work, I write the Oswald Chronicles, something very far removed from this sort of thing. Um, and just go check it out. We currently have a Kickstarter running. We have a few days left, so, you know, thank you so much, and have a great day.